Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's lesson is about number series, which is part of the numerical ability section of the civil service exam. We'll talk about how to spot the pattern, what operations to try, and what to do when the answer isn't obvious. So if you've ever stared at a sequence of numbers and had no idea what comes first or what comes next, I got you. Let's get started. So step one is pattern recognition. Identify the pattern. And there are three. The first one is ascending. When you say ascending, it means that the numbers are going up. Let's take a look at this example. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Obviously, the number is going up by 5 each time, and therefore, the correct answer is 30. The second pattern is descending. So when you say descending, it means that the numbers are going down. Like for this example, we have 100, 90, 80, 70, and black. So clearly, the, num the number series is decreasing by 10. Therefore, the correct answer is 60. The third pattern is alternating. In this example, there are two alternate patterns here. Both are ascending, but one is a set of even numbers. That's 2, 4, 6, and 8. And the other are odd numbers. So 1, 3, and 5. Therefore, for this series, the missing number is an odd number. Therefore, the correct answer is 7. Now, speaking of alternating patterns, I think the Fibonacci sequence is also worth mentioning. So when you say Fibonacci sequence, it means that each number is the sum of two previous numbers. So for example, we have 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. So for this example, we have 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. 5 plus 8, 13. So 13 plus 21 is 34. Now, 21 plus 34 is 55. Did you know that the Fibonacci sequence is also found in nature? Tulad ng shells, flower petals, at hurricane formations? Ang tawag dito ay nature's secret code or nature's universal rule. Kasi very common siya sa growth patterns ng living things. Astig, di ba? So, as soon as we verify or as soon as we identify the pattern, Step 2 is checking the distance between the numbers. If the numbers are close to each other, try addition or subtraction. Let's take a look at this example. So we have 21, 23, 25, and 27. So clearly, the numbers are ascending at hindi masyado nagkakalayo yung mga numbers. So let's try to add them by 2. So 21 plus 2 is 23. 23 plus 2 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. Therefore, 27 plus 2 is 29. 29 is the correct answer. Now, let's take a look at this one naman. Here, pababa ang ating mga numbers at hindi rin masyado nagkakalayo yung kanilang difference. So, let's try to subtract by 5. So, 50 minus 5 is 45. 45 minus 5 is 40. 40 minus 5 is 35. Therefore, 35 minus 5 is 30. 30 ang tamang sagot. Now, if the numbers have large gaps, try multiplication or division. Here's an example. We have 3, 6, 12, and 24. So clearly, the numbers are ascending. Tapos parang kakaiba yung pagtaas niya. Iba-iba yung gap. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2, 24. And therefore, 24 times 2 is 48. 48 ang tamang sagot. Let's try another one. Here, descending or pababa ang mga numbers. So let's do division. 160 divided by 2 is 80. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 
And 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 ang tamang sagot. Key takeaways would be, number 1, pattern recognition. Alamin mo kaagad kung yung numbers ay pataas, pababa, or alternating. Number 2, look at the size of the gap. Kung pataas yung mga numbers, tapos hindi naman ganun kalaki yung gap nila, use addition. Pag pababa naman, pero small gaps pa rin, use subtraction. But for larger or rapidly growing gaps, use multiplication pag pataas yung numbers, or use division pag pababa naman ang numbers. Ang dali lang, ba? Eh, ba't ang hirap sagutan? So here's the catch. Here's the problem. You don't always see the pattern on your first try. So, the best strategy is to do the elimination method. Now, as you know, the civil service exam are multiple choice questions. So, ibig sabihin nun, isa sa mga choices ang tamang sagot. Sabi nga sa kasabihan, nasa dulo na lang ng ilong mo. You just have to figure out kung asaan siya. Therefore, number one, use the choices as clues. Do the computation backward, and if it doesn't match the pattern, eliminate and move on to the next. Halimbawa, this example, 4, 8, 16. Pataas yung numbers, pero parang hindi naman ganun kalakihan yung gap. So, do you need to add or multiply? So, let's try addition first. And let's try letter A, C18. So, 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay. 8 plus 4 is 12. Is 16 yung nandito. Wrong na agad yung pattern. So, eliminate mo na yan. And let's proceed to letter B. So, letter B naman is 24. So, kung hindi gumana yung addition kanina, let's try subtraction. So, 24 minus 16 is 8. Okay. 16 minus 8 is 8. Okay. Parang may pattern na, no? But let's go to the last one. 8 minus 4 is 4. So, ibig sabihin, wala pa rin tayong pattern. Therefore, letter B is wrong. Move on tayo kay letter C. So, hindi gumana yung addition. Wala rin tayong nakuhang pattern sa subtraction. So, dito naman tayo sa multiplication. So, let's say 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So, bukod sa parang may pattern na tayo dito, yung nakuha pa natin na sagot ay nasa choices din, which is letter C. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Hindi mo na kailangan isolve si letter D kasi may sagot ka na. The downside of the elimination method nga lang is it's time-consuming. So, be smart in choosing this method. Kung tingin mo mas matatagalan ka, Skip mo muna and then move on to the next question. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, like, follow, and subscribe for more civil service exam review content. And while you're at it, please like and follow us on Facebook for more tips and review materials. Also, please check the description below for other videos. See you in the next one. Good luck!